Let's watch the assessment and intervention scenario, unstable atrial fibrillation, using a Lairdal simulator. At 1902, EMS is dispatched to a 44-year-old female experiencing severe dizziness and nausea. Upon arriving at the scene, the paramedic does a quick scan to ensure there's no danger. The paramedic introduces herself to the patient in order to assess AVPU and ABCs while placing a hand on her shoulder to comfort her and the other hand on her wrist to complete a rapid radial pulse check. The paramedic also notices the patient's skin is cool and clammy. After questioning the patient about the history of present illness, she obtains the patient's sample history. Suspecting a cardiac event, she places the EKG leads, which reveal atrial fibrillation. After listening to the lung sounds and obtaining a blood pressure, the patient is placed on oxygen at 4 liters per minute, IV access is initiated, and 0.1 milligrams per kilogram of Versed is administered to sedate the patient prior to cardioversion. The paramedic places the defibrillation pads, ensuring that the monitor defibrillator is in synchronized mode and charged to 120 joules. After confirming synchronization with the atrial fibrillation QRS complex, she delivers the energy. Following cardioversion, the EKG is re-evaluated, revealing sinus tachycardia and confirming that the monitor matches the patient's radial pulse. A full set of vital signs is obtained. The hospital is notified of the patient's complaints and the treatments that have been provided. The paramedic reassesses the patient, including repeat vital signs. Upon arrival at the ER, patient care is transferred to the staff. Total elapsed time for this scenario, 20 minutes. Timeout, 1922. Now let's go to the simulation lab, where you can use your skills to perform a patient assessment and demonstrate the appropriate interventions.